Seals are good. Oxygen's good. Just do what you did last time, and you're fine. Follow my one simple rule. Hella, what's my one simple rule? Listen to Lynn. Boss lady knows best. Exactly. Listen to me. Mining's just like any other job. Go steady, go safe, go home with a pocket full of credits at the end of the day. Yeah, totally. It's just like, um, yeah, I work in the Stardock. Except uh, with more cave-ins, lasers, and accidental dismemberment. Very helpful. Thank you. Ah, you're gonna be fine. Your first outing was solid. And, you know, let's be honest, it ain't exactly astrophysics. That's why I keep him around. Good pep talks. Yeah, and the fact that I can pinpoint a helium deposit from 300 meters. <laughs> Not untrue. A shame we won't find any down here. But the metal deposits alone should pay for our own helium. Hell, after this, we'll have enough jump fuel to bounce from one end of the settled systems to the next. Hey, more minerals, more money. And so the cycle repeats itself. Just no more unauthorized jumps in the house for room space, okay? He's just a big baby. There are worse lives. You know, most Dusties don't even make it this far. I have a good feeling about you. A group hug now or at the end of the shift? <sighs> One of these days, Hella, I am going to leave you behind. Promises, promises. Okay, let's see what we've got. How are we on time? A uh, little longer. Grab some samples? Always. Uh, but not you. Check on Isabel. Make sure she eases up on the breach. I don't feel like getting buried alive today. Roger that. Remember, Dusty. Keep your breathing steady. And never take that helmet off down here. Oxygen processors don't extend this far. Yeah. Because God forbid we drill on a rock with breathable atmosphere. You know what I love about working in free stop like this? Hi. 
problem, then? Uh, not if you consider a spike in gravity readings a problem. I don't. You don't? What we're after? It'll read as an anomaly. That's what I was told, anyway. Okay, now you're starting to freak me out. Relax. It's just another job. Come on. Getting close, I think. Yeah, everything is just... <laughs> Lynn, seriously, uh, there's something really effed up about this. Where is it, Hella? Through there, I think. Okay, you, you're up. Something goes wrong in there, we'll come get you. Uh, <laughs> why would anything go wrong? Should would we... you shut up? Both of you do your jobs. Client is on his way. Come on. Okay, take it easy. You were out cold. Uh, no physical damage. Mentally, the jury's still out. You know who you are? New recruit for Argos Extractors? Ring any bells? Any of this look familiar?
forgot. Former diplomat, right? You must have said the wrong words to the wrong people to wind up here. Well, you got the sample. Client's on his way, then we all get paid. You remember anything that happened? Easy there, High Flyer. Probably just the endorphins kicking in when you passed out. Don't go having an experience on me. You'll walk it off. More importantly, we got what we were looking for. All this trouble for that stupid thing? Huh. Sure don't look like much. Never mind what it looks like. It's worth more than this mine has pulled in all month. We'll be... Speak of the devil. Hey, you alright? Maybe don't do any heavy lifting for a while? A constellation contact is on approach. Wait, the explorer's group? <laughs> That's kind of a joke. Nah, no joke. You're just too young to know better. Hey, I'm just saying they got a reputation. Hell, I bet half the crew here doesn't even believe they really exist. Half the crew doesn't believe Earth exists, but it's still there. Same with Constellation. Yeah, but come on. Exploring space? <laughs> Who does that anymore? Ain't the space we've already got complicated enough? Whoa. Not to them, apparently. <sighs> you don't look good. You all right? Mm -hmm. You need some coffee or something? Got a packet around here somewhere. You got a few more digs to go before I feel like talking to you. Just trying to get through my shift. Glad when we're off this rock. This has been a good run. You lucked out being picked up for this one. Argos usually ain't so good at picking sites. Oh, this time, like a miracle. Don't get too used to how easy this has been. Next dig might be toxic hazards or worse. What? Ah, oh, I'm working. How they sucker you to join? Fall for the fancy pamphlets? Supervisor's log supplemental. Still day two of Argos Extractor's Vectera dig. Freestar Collective claim ID Beta 7548 Alpha. As far as anyone knows, this is just another ore run. Vectera's got enough mid-level veins to keep everyone working and not asking questions. 
I told Hella everything he needs to know, which is pretty much everything I know. Lynn but sure seems to like you. Yes, she orders. would know. Being the boss. He made good with the payment for Kazal, even if it was a bust. This time, I'm not so sure. This place is giving me the willies. I think we're going to find something. I just have no idea what it could not be. Not interested. Whatever. Why it is. Barrett might want it. Hell, are putting that first aid but seminar to work on you, huh? Constellation credits mean we dig our holes and keep our mouths shut. And I'm okay with that. Is it okay? Between Barrett's mysterious ain't the thing friendliest, and the ore itself, good folks. we'll be done with this rock in five days when the transport is supposed to come back for extraction. All right, Dusty. Airlock. Put your helmet on.
Did you see Lynn? Ran straight at those pirates like it was no- Were you in that dust-up? <laughs> you know you don't get paid extra for bravery, right? Of course Barrett was being followed. Every time. We're still in one piece. Oh, God. I'm gonna throw up. Hey, uh... I don't know how you kept your cool back there. We appear to have suffered fewer casualties than would be expected. The Crimson Fleet is after us. Unfortunate. Hey, you did good there. Kept your head. Don't let your guard down. Could be more. Well, that was some fine work on the pressure. You dug up the artifact, right? That means you saw it. The visions? You're coming with me to Constellation. You're part of this now. You ever stare up at the stars at night wondering what's out there? Well, that's us. That's where we go. Marvelous. Oh no, Barrett. No. You think you're just going to take off after the mess you caused? All right. I guess I did just put you all on the Crimson Fleet hit list. How about I stay and I send your Dusty here in my place? I, 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 I know, I know, but he's not some miner anymore, Lynn. Soon as he touched that rock, something changed. Don't tell me you can't feel it. Fine. It's a deal. Get out of here, Dusty. You're on to bigger things. Now that we've been attacked... Oh, we've got to pack up and move on. Argos will come for the rest of us. You get going. Just go. Before I say something I regret. Well... None of that's settled. Vasco, get him to the lodge. No deviations unless absolutely necessary, okay? Protocol Indigo. Indigo. Again. Very well. Oh, and hey, take this. You'll find it very useful out there. And it even tells the time. you perfectly. Now, questions? Come on. You're really not at all curious about that light music show you experienced? Why it only affected you? Because if you didn't notice, we've all been handling it since with no problem. The way I see it, Constellation needs that artifact, but they also need you. This mystery is only getting bigger each step we take. And you're part of it now. Technically, it's not even mine. Consider it alone. Vasco will keep you on course. Besides, I'm making an exception, since you can tell Constellation about that vision you had. See, that's the problem with the settled systems. Too easy to take everything for granted. While everyone else is busy playing politics, we're the ones braving the unknown, charting the vastness of space. Without us, the galaxy is just a big room with the lights turned out. That, my friend, is the million credit question. And Constellation can find the answer, with your help. They're just following the loop, like pirates do. And I have something of a reputation as a... loot collector. And Vasco! Don't let him break my ship!
cares you are the new captain of the frontier. Just up the ramp, Captain. I'll be in the external robotics bay. Captain, I assume you know how to fly a Class A starship. As Barrett likes to say, it's as easy as learning to ride a bike. I will attempt to boost the shields, just in case there are any difficulties. Are you 
familiar with ship combat tactics, because that's a Crimson Fleet ship bringing its weapons to bear. We will need to disable their shields. Laser-based weaponry is particularly effective. centered on the HUD, we can lock in to fire a homing missile. The enemy shields are down, Captain. Ballistic weaponry excels at damaging the hull once shields are offline.
Crimson Fleet Captain is on the surface.
are United Colonies markings, but we are in Free Star Collective space. It then stands to reason that this was once a secret UC facility.
I am aiming for your center.
you require help carrying any items, I will assist.
Your spinal health will be compromised by carrying so many items. Captain, Protocol Indigo dictates that I am to return to the Lodge with no deviations. We are here. I have often asked Barrett that same question, and the most likely answer is that Barrett personally insulted him. Tip it. Constellation is an explorer's society. Members often engage in expeditions in small groups. The membership is intentionally limited and small. Should you... Barrett would say that billions of years ago, we were all but the more practical answer is like without your investment in Constellation's mission. Carrying objects is one of my simple. I'm detecting a safe nearby. We could make use of whatever is inside, provided you had some digi-picks and a disregard for personal property rights.
relay has been trashed. The whole room is trashed. We can't call for help. I can hear the terror morph roaring somewhere. And more people screaming. <laughs>
We need to reach the Alpha Centauri system, Captain. Allow me to assist you with carrying your items. Captain, to reach the launch, we must jump to the planet Jemison in the Alpha Centauri system.
Frontier. This is United Colonies Security. Maintain course and prepare to be scanned. Scan complete. No contraband detected. You are cleared for landing at New Atlantis. And he's your new captain. My crew can take a look at your ship, and you can stop by the Trade Authority kiosk if you need to offload some cargo. I'm sure you can find something you like. Everything looks good here. I'll be at my booth if you need me. I can assure you this unprovoked attack on the United Colonies Research Facility will not go unanswered. Sergeant Huey is looking for a reason. I'm going to guard. Please contact him if you're interested. We'd all appreciate it.
This is New Atlantis Transit, or the NAT. It provides free transportation throughout the city. We can take it directly to the Mast District. Constellation will be waiting for you at the lodge. One day, I'm gonna leave New Atlantis for good. numbers are growing every year. Aquilus's message really connects with people. That first jump, <laughs> it changes you, uh, unlocks something within you. Have you felt it?
Is there anything I can help with? I think that's what they really need more than anything else. Were you seeking worldly wisdom or just a friendly ear? Ah, that's wonderful to hear. It brings me great joy to know that my scattered thoughts can help others. I assume then you've read Among the Grab Jumps. It's the one writing that most often introduces most people to us. Excellent, excellent. Tell me, what did you think? I'm so glad to hear that. I confess I do feel something of a swell of pride every time I learn my thoughts mean something to others. It's a good reminder that we're on to something here. You're always welcome here if you ever need comfort or advice or just want someone to talk to. Well, we're a newer organization, at least officially. Our facility here in New Atlantis has only been around a few decades. But we're gaining new members all the time. I think people have been grasped. Keeper by title. But yes, I suppose that I'm very grateful that I have the opportunity. The Sanctum will always be here for those who seek it. There are so many mysteries in the universe, so many unknowns, that I try to help out others whenever I get the chance.
for you. scientific triumvirate. It stands as a symbol of the United Colonies. inside. If Barrett were here, he'd probably tell you that you're part of something bigger now, and he hopes you'll make this place your home.
Welcome to Constellation. We have a lot to talk about. Would you care to tell us what happened to our friend? Why you're here and he isn't? Hmm. Very well. This is a private organization dedicated to exploration. Space primarily, but also anomalies throughout the settled systems. It's inherently dangerous work, so if one of our own doesn't show up as planned, then we tend to have questions. Speaking of which, where is Barrett? I see. Vasco, verify. All statements made have been... Factual. Ugh. This is just typical. Barrett hands over our ship and our robot to some random employee of that discount mining outfit he uses. Walter. And if we hadn't insisted on installing those emergency protocols, I guarantee you this rock breaker here would be halfway to Neon. But that didn't happen. He's here with the artifact. Thank you, Matteo. Now. Let's focus on what's in front of us, shall we? What happened when it was extracted? Did anyone see anything? Hear anything? Interesting. Similar to Barrett's description of the experience, with less embellishment. There! Are you hearing this? Do you all believe me now? Whether it happened or not wasn't in doubt. But honestly, Country, what do you expect us to believe in fairy tales? If this is the greatest mystery in the universe, why couldn't it be part of the ultimate mystery? But, gentlemen, can we please focus? Noel, I think it's time we tested your theory. Right. Let's see. We know the artifacts react to each other. The pieces we already have move when they're in close contact. Now, if we add this new one to the two we already have... The artifact. If you could place it on the table here. Two of them at first. Oh my god, that's it. They're reacting. Look at how it's coming together. That energy that's arcing between them, no manufactured material in the subtle systems can do that. None of them. This proves that... Easy, girl. Breathe. You'll have a heart attack. She's not the only one. If they're coming together, that means there's a set. Built by an intelligence outside the settled systems. Still 2,000 credits for our little wager, Katra? You're on, Walter. Well, if we had all the answers, it wouldn't be exciting, now would it? Not to take away from the moment, but what are we going to do about our new friend here? <laughs> so, are you ready to get to work? See if exploration is the life you want to lead in this little universe of ours? Individually, they're just odd hunks of metal. Another oddity from the uncharted reaches of space. As to what they are, what they're building, well... You'll be part of solving that puzzle now. We're all here because we're committed to exploring space. Humanity may have settled the stars, but that doesn't mean we should stop diving into the unknown. Beyond that, you'll be expected to use your own judgment, just like the rest of us. You should take some time to get settled in. Introduce yourself to everyone. 
Some of our members aren't here, but you'll meet them soon. Come find me when you're ready. You and I are going to be doing some traveling together. Get your feet wet. And here. I think you've earned something for bringing the artifacts to us. In addition to credits, why don't we set you up with a backpack with some boost capability, hmm? You'll need it out in the field anyway. Just mind your head. I am at your service, Captain. Well, I suppose calling you a rock breaker may have been a bit out of line. Still doesn't excuse it. My frustrations lie more with Barrett. Not the first time his shenanigans have jeopardized one of our ventures. Not fair of me to take it out on you, especially since it would seem he made the right call this time. So, let's start over, shall we? Walter Stroud, CEO of Stroud Eklund, member of Constellation, and oft-times grumpy old man. Welcome aboard. By the way, in addition to a place to stay, the Lodge has a wealth of modification and research equipment. Spacesuit customization, pharmaceutical manufacturing, testing alien substances, the whole thing. You can even fashion industrial pieces for large-scale projects, if you don't mind extracting a few raw resources from a nearby planet, that is. I'm a fan of self-reliance, so I encourage you to make use of the tools we have to build what you need. We're most well known for ship manufacturing. No expense spared. If you want the best and can afford it, you choose Stroud Eklund. Unfortunately, our success means you'll sometimes see Stroud Eklund ship modules on less than reputable vessels. They covet them. The bastards. I've tried to convince the United Colonies we can help in that regard, but they're married to Deimos Star Yards, and those old salts are stuck in the glory days. Me? <laughs> Why, I'm the wallet. Someone has to fund all this, and all my success in business doesn't mean much if I can't put it to good use. I don't pretend to have the daring of Ms. Morgan, or the smarts of young Mateo, but I can make sure that they have the resources they need. And, as you've now seen, those resources aren't being wasted. We're onto something big here. Up until very recently, I'd likely have dismissed it as, I don't know, hallucinations. But now, I'm not sure what to think. I don't suppose you have a history of this sort of thing, do you? Yes, I imagined as much. Barrett expressed something similar, in his own unique way. I'm no scientist. I leave that to the likes of Barrett and young Noel there. But I think we can all agree there's something unusual going on here. Frankly, this is the most exciting thing that's happened in years. 
Funny thing about companies, you build one sturdy enough, it doesn't need you there all the time to prop it up. Stroud Eklund functions quite well on a day-to-day -day basis, leaving me time to devote to more esoteric pursuits. For years, I was captivated by the writings of Constellation's founder, Sebastian Banks. I finally decided to do something more than admire from a distance, and so now, I call the Lodge home, as much as anywhere else. Remember, you're representing all of us out there. Ask if you've got questions. Speak up if you have ideas. We're all here for the same reason. Are you doing okay? I'm not sure anyone really asked yet. Don't want you to think we're focused on the artifacts and nothing else. You matter too. You've done something really significant bringing that artifact here. I'm Matteo, theological scholar by trade, but now, well, an explorer like you. It's really good to have you with us. I'm not gonna lie, I really wish I could have seen this for myself. It's hard to judge otherwise. Both you and Barrett saw something. I don't think that's a coincidence. Did it feel like it was trying to tell you something? I don't want to necessarily use the words divine revelation, but... You know, if the label fits. It has to be, right? All of this is connected. We just need to figure out how and why. We're gonna get to the bottom of this. We just need more data, which means more artifacts. Well, there was some overlap in interests. I'd spent years searching for religious relics from human history. I had made a really incredible discovery, only to lose it to a greedy corporation. So I tried to steal it back. In the process, I met Walter. Turned out he owned the corporation. After a long talk, we realized we had a lot in common, and I was invited to join Constellation. The second one was on Kazal, buried the same as the one you found. But the first one, right under our noses for years, sitting in storage, masquerading as an oversized paperweight. Can you imagine potentially the greatest discovery in human history collecting dust? Take care of yourself. Sarah is the best possible person to be running Constellation at a time like this. Focused, no nonsense, and dedicated. Ready to get to work? Or was there something else? I don't know what you've heard, but I can imagine. First of all, I think you can dismiss any stories about us no longer existing. Hmm? I don't believe in smearing our name everywhere we can. Exploring the universe, charting the unknown, that's what counts. Besides, having a little mystery gives us room to maneuver. A fixed reputation could fence us in a lot of ways. Not much, but you've seen them for yourself. It doesn't take a lot to realize we're dealing with something extraordinary. Just what that is, we'll have to figure out. It's what we do. We're going to be doing some old-fashioned detective work. The artifacts are relatively inert once they're out of bedrock. That means people can pass them around, not even knowing what they are. 
I've been letting my contacts know to be on the lookout for strange metal objects. Get back a lot of noise, usually, but a tip from the UC Vanguard sounds promising. We have to assume that we're not the only ones to have stumbled into this mystery. But most people aren't going into space looking for the unknown. They're looking for places to settle, resources to extract, territory to defend. An odd-looking rock or a single strange hunk of metal wouldn't mean much to them. That's why Constellation exists, in a way. To put pieces like this together. Felt the same way when I started, too. There's an electricity in the air when you know you're about to uncover something. But it's not just that. I want to take this opportunity to see how you handle yourself, and for you to learn more about us. I'm going to be sticking with you for this. We'll be traveling together until we either find an artifact, or this lead runs dry. Go ahead. Just don't take too long or my contact's information might go bad. Ready to head out there? Or did you still need time on your own? So long.
I hope you are satisfied with the quarters available to you. I'm listening. Ready to head out there? Or did you still need time on your own? We'll need to head to Mast. Check in with the Vanguard recruiting office where my contact works. And listen, whatever you were before, or whatever you do once you're out there, I don't care. So long as you don't bring UC security to our doorstep. Every member of Constellation is their own conscience. Understood? Good. Let's take a little stroll through New Atlantis, shall we? service, Captain. Captain, now that you are a member of Constellation, I am at your service. No additional protocols necessary. Also, given the likelihood that you will be out in unsettled space, it might be beneficial to go over exploration outpost development in case you ever need to build a base for field research. I arrived along with many material goods purchased by the groups previous to despite several significant system replacements and upgrades. I have been online for... My primary function has been to support and protect Barrett during his travels. I am currently unable to do so. That is as capable as I can be of missing anyone. I believe Barrett would find your question Amusing. My methods of achieving my primary goals are dictated solely by my programming and are not subject to the same whims as humans. Even if I wished it, I could not approach it any other way. Also, I am incapable of wishing. The exploration of an unknown planet can be a major... It is even possible to set up... The scan booster is the most obvious, as it will enable you to detect landmarks. Beyond that, extractors will allow you to... A particularly prosperous outpost may even warrant the construction The blueprints you need to construct an outpost should already be on your... Captain, I will proceed to my assigned post. You may. I have no concept of privacy.
My programming dictates that I must answer any question. Constellation has seen to it that I possess a near encyclopedic. I have been programmed to comprehend all modern. My body is crafted from reinforced metal and there. Logically, I believe the correct answer to be the airplane, followed shortly by the illogically speaking. I am inclined to believe they make good case studies in how I am looking at one. I hope that was a suitable response. Constellation did not. E this is a difficult question to parse. I do not experience enjoyment. However, I find that the music of ancient Japan as a pleasantly mathematical sound. I have dedicated significant time. I am prepared for your... Constellation recovered me from an abandoned lunar robotics factory. I am told I was in quite a state of... Since then, I have been... Constellation is an exceptionally driven and in I am powered by wheels and cogs. Based on our previous Lunar Robotics is a man their headquarters was once located on Earth's moon. It was even today. Lunar Robotics pro it is impossible to read Barrett. If you are asking for a sum. Based on my understanding. I find you to be a more measured and Watch my likelihood of expiration due to corporeal destruction. It is impossible if you are asking for. Barrett has not shared many purse despite repeated attempts on his part. Good day, Captain.
What? Well, I'll be. Honey, we got ourselves a visitor. I'll get the coffee brewing. Oh, my God. Oh, you about gave me a heart attack. Not that we're not thrilled to see you, son, but I, I thought you were under contract with Argos Extractors. Is everything all right? Well, I'll be, I'll be. Constellation? Is this one of those candid camera vids? A joke? My child is a member of Constellation. I just knew you were special. Didn't I always say that? That you were meant for great things? Great things. Oh, say again? I should record that and play it back. Mom, you were right. Oh, but you didn't give me any notice. If I'd known, I'd have your favorite meal in the oven. And your room is just a mess. Although that's how you left it. Easy, honey. Let the boy catch his breath. Why don't you settle in? You know you're always welcome. Still can't believe it. Constellation. The stories make them seem so exotic, so, well, romantic, almost. But how is it for real? You liking it? Don't you worry yourself about that. All your life, you've been just this mess of potential waiting for a chance. Your number's finally been called, and the settled systems had better be ready for you. I've got some news of my own. You are now officially looking at a retiree. Taught my final class last Thursday. The faculty threw me a party and everything. It's too bad you weren't here then. You could have had some cake. Look at that smart mouth. Where on earth could you have gotten that from? <laughs> Enough about that. Anything you want to talk about before you have to go? I mean, stay. Stay as long as you like, but I imagine you're all excited to get to discovering. You know, it's supposed to be us taking care of you, right? <sighs> I'd like to say we'll pay you back the money you sent home. Well, I appreciate it. We appreciate it. More than you know. Retirement's treating me well, but there are some days I almost missed the classroom. Don't say anything to your mom about this, but... She got some work done at Enhance. She keeps looking younger every day, I tell her. Not that I mind. Planning a proper, honest-to-goodness vacation. Nothing too fancy. I've been promising your mom a trip for years, and I got no excuses now. Your mother's been sending me links all day about such-and-such such deals and excursions, but it'll be good to get out. Take care, kiddo. Where's the tissue paper? Y you don't know where that is? I knew where it was. Top shelf of the pantry. But it's not there anymore. No, I moved them to the bottom shelf ages ago. How do you expect me to know where anything is if you keep moving them all the time? You should pay attention.
I'm planning a grocery run later. I get some things you like. I still can't get over you being here. And it's not even Mother's Day. So, I gotta ask, is there anyone special in your life? With you being in Constellation now, I imagine you are quite the catch. I knew it. You had that spring in your step. A mother knows. I won't press, dear. Don't worry. Hmm. Interesting. Something you want to discuss later, perhaps? I know you didn't live in this apartment long, but I want you to consider this your home away from home. Your bed is always yours, no questions asked. I mean, well, I will ask questions, but you can stay here no matter the answers. No bother at all. Stay as long as you like. Anything you want to talk about, dear? Now that we're both retired, you mean? I, I keep trying to push your father to do things. Dance lessons, vacation, take some courses. I'm really interested in early colonial art. But he's just happy as a clam reading in his chair for hours. Wants to know the history of every little thing. It's nice to have time to do both, though. You're welcome anytime. And I mean any time. Sandra contacted me again. Ugh. They still want you to consult, don't they? They are not used to anyone saying no. Do you regret it? Not one bit. When I go to sleep, I got a clean conscience. Working for them, it would be hard to look myself in the mirror. You are... Still all right with that? Like signing bonus alone. I love you all the more for it. I figured it would be years until I saw you again. And here you are. all day I've been reading it's good stuff it's about you should get some exercise I've spent my whole life in a book I'm fine across most of the settled systems in all manners of spacecraft, and yet I still get sick on the NAT. By Vectera, by Vectera, by Vectera! I can't believe it! Is it you? Is it really, really you? 
captain of the frontier, bane of the fleet, constellation's shining star of stars. Oh, you are definitely the brightest, biggest star in any constellation. There's no maybes about it. I have an eye for these things. Not that you're hard to see with that halo on your head. Although at first, I wasn't sure if it was just the glare. But now that I know it's you, what are the odds? And to think, I almost went for coffee instead. But I changed my routine for one day, and here you are. It's almost like it was meant to be. I know, right? And you can try to fight destiny, but you probably aren't going to win. Although, if I'm being honest, I'd wager you could beat just about anything, even theoretical concepts. But why would you, in this case? Either way, it's such an honor to meet you. Hey, do you mind if I follow you around? Do you need a sidekick? What am I saying? You're a hero, of course you do! Lead the way! Good point. I'll start working on it right away, as soon as I learn how to sew. Until then, maybe I can be a sidekick in training. Do you have an academy where fans can practice groveling at your feet? If not, I can start one. You won't be disappointed! This all feels like a dream. So if anyone tries to pinch me, I will smack them in the face. Of course, I am sworn to tell you the truth and nothing but. Oh, I'm not that interesting. I like coffee, I like tea, and I like worshipping the ground you walk on. Well, you technically don't walk. Uh, angels tend to glide. Well, for one, your triumph on Vectera was all over the news. But I believe that's only the beginning. The first chapter in a 437-book anthology documenting your greatness. It's only a matter of time before they start writing it. I'll be counting the seconds until they do. 1,001, 1,002. Oh no, that sounds ominous. to work then. Your clothes, your boots polished. 
your mirror.